All right, I'm just going to demonstrate here how to bring down the level in a project. So here I have this project playing, and you can see the level's out of control. The master bus is clipping. A lot of these faders are way too high to be mixing with, and the level of everything just needs to be brought down to a controllable level. So the way that I'll go about doing that is I will go through, and I, first of all, I want to create a group. And I, what I want to include in this group are any tracks that are instrument or audio tracks. I don't want to include buses because I don't want to be bringing down the level of the buses. I like to keep those set at zero on my effects. And um, if any of these tracks are routed through buses, if I bring down the bus along with the tracks, then I'm going to be bringing down the level twice on them. So I just want to select the, the individual tracks that have the audio audio or the MIDI on them. And so I'm going to go through and highlight these. I'm holding down Command to add all these individual tracks. And you can also hold down Shift and select a large group. I'm kind of going the long way here. But nevertheless, once I've got them all selected, then I can create a group by showing my groups. And Command G will also do this, but um, you can find it on the drop down menu on groups. Select new groups, and I'm going to call this bring level down. And I just keep it as a mix edit group for the scenario. Press OK. Now, what you don't want to do, it's easy to now just go ahead and jump ahead and pull the faders down and think that you've got it taken care of. But you can see since I have automation written here, the second I hit play, my automation tracks jump back up to where they need to be. So what you actually need to do is go over to your edit window, and you may just have it showing the regions like this. You want to um, show all your volumes across all the tracks in your group. And I do this by pressing Control, Option, Command, and then clicking in the volume area. When you do that, that'll switch everything to their volumes view. And then I zoom out and I go to the far right of the project. And with the smart tool selected, if I move my cursor to the top of one of the tracks, you'll see the trimmer show up. And I will drag down. And in this case, I go down a generous amount. And now you've got the levels a lot lower. So now as we look at this, you can see this is a much more manageable level. And this is actually, for my preference, where I like to start mixing um, at. So hope that helps you.